Hello, for those who really don't want to cheese Chitsarala because they are not a big fan of great swords or hunting hammers or hunting horns or the weapons that are very good at doing KOs. This might be more for you, like if you're a charge blade user, dual blades, hunting horn, is it if, if or not, because hunting horns can KO pretty well, but they also probably don't want to be in groups sometimes, they want to be solo, and this might be more for them. So you can say this is more of a universal jack build for most weapons that aren't using specific KO builds. This is specifically for Tempered Kashala, mainly for the event, because there might be some value in learning the mechanics of Kashala. We just don't know it yet for Fatalis. Even though past Fatalis has had like Dragon Light and stuff, we might have some wind going on, maybe with pretty much how they made Alatreon from his previous game up to 11 with some new abilities attacks so maybe we might see something with like fatalis going on like that maybe fatalis might have like some strong winds that combos with fire that's why there's lunastra and teo as the preparation quest so this build mainly is to farm kashala for the event or just kashalas in general if you want to fight them later on I will give a heads up, this build is going to require some Kashala parts, so if you don't have Kashala parts, you might need to farm it a bit. I would say do uh, Master Rank Investigations and probably at least two runs will get you all the material you need. That's with a tail break off and everything. So let me first show you what I've done with the build before we go too much further into decorations and stuff like that. So, first, oi, oi. I am going to show you the two optional choices you have, and it'll be up to you on how you want to do this. So, I've done two pieces Rage of Rectopias, but if you don't want to do two pieces Rage of Rectopias, I would recommend Alatreon, just because Alatreon gives you good slots and also good stats for what uh, you get for the two slots for pretty much the same area. Now you can change this up for like Frostfang if you are running maybe a longsword build or something like that. Completely up to you but the next three pieces are like guaranteed slots because of just how limited on options we have. So going up here to Kashala. The reason we don't run the helmet or the belt is mainly because this gives you ice attack. Kashala is immune to ice attacks and those are just wasted pretty much skills. Although I guess you could value the same thing with handicraft if your weapon is, but uh, the ice attack is useless in my opinion, so you don't need these in your build at all. Now maybe when Fatalis comes around, maybe this might be decent if you're running an ice weapon build for, let's say they do something with Fatalis not needing Dragon to be as weak as like in previous games. There's a possibility that he could be more of the top of the ecosystem. But the reason we run the chest, gloves, and the greaves are because these are the best. I will show you the optional high rank ones, and that's more up to you if you still have those. I kind of trash mine when, because I found them being way worse than even the gamma ones. So you get decent skills. These are more like utility evading skills, and they're perfectly fine. Now to show like arch tempered. So if you go Arch Timber Kshala, there's ice attack in the chest. You can maybe do the helmet, but it's you're getting handicraft instead of the chest being handicraft and better decos. The gloves you might want to run maybe a pure great sword or you have a charge attack because that two focus, even though it's three small one decos, 
that two points in focus could mean a lot if you don't have the decorations for the slots. Or even the belt for the handicraft and evade window on the creeps, which are on the betas and mess rings. So, other than that, uh, there's really no point doing um, Kushala's armor and um, high rank, even if you uh, modify them to be high. The Kushala armor is not that much better from the beta mess rank. So, don't look at this, maybe look at Arch Tempered if you want focus. But if you don't want to run two piece Rage and Brachidius, I would say two piece Don Mio. Uh, run the helmet and run uh, the beta belt for Don Mio. Those would be more ideal if you wanted like more element damage and stuff. Just for the, the uh, stuff. Or even Gold Lunastra for like the Divine Blessings. It's really up to you on what two pieces you might want to run and what you have. But the three things that I said in stone, in my opinion, is Shella's armor. So now once we got the armor out of the way, this is where you choose your weapon slash decorations. So, I'm a dual blade main, so I'm going to stick through dual blades even through the worst builds in the world. Because I just love dual blades, I was like this in previous games. And it's whatever to me at this point. I will take all the flack in the world. So you can change the weapons out from the Kajar Sparks or the Shock Charm to more utility for like earplugs if you don't want to rock steady. But other than that, um, I would say don't give up too much damage. You want to want a decent amount of damage. And of course, since I'm dual blades, I run nearly like full crit build. This gives me roughly 10 to 15 less of 100% crit, but it's not going to hinder me too much. So, this is the reason I run the 2 piece Brachidias, because I do get Challenger, so I can go up to Agitator 7. Uh, Thunder Attack, uh, Crit Boost. Went, so when I crit hit, uh, evade window 3, I went with evasion instead of something else with tenderizer like vitality and stuff. Actually, I don't even think vitality is an optional thing for it, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so I didn't run vitality with it. I would say evasion, maintenance, or physique are your two best options for this. Other than that, I would not recognize doing too much difference from this build, unless you're a hunting horn or whatever, you can trade out to how you want for more raw damage or whatever suits your needs. Of course, since dual blades, Kajars have crit and element built in them, that's why I go almost like full crit build, but let's say you're not a crit build, you could go long sword. Have the Frost Fang 100% crit every time you sheath and do your strikes and stuff. Vitality and Rock Steady, so I get 3 health, and that's like a small health increase right away. Could be life saving, could be non existent, depending on how well you fight. Temporal with medicine, just so then you can heal and stuff like that. So the. It, it's a pretty upfront build. Not that too uh, dimensional, but then you also go to items, uh, weak pin plus, or if you don't have weak pin plus, at least run maybe um, some weak pins. Uh, if you need some quick heals, go for two, the sushi pins. If not, um, you could run some mega barrels to make uh, Kushala jump into because Kushala does jump to you if you get a certain amount of distance away. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is highly possible to do the fight without much of anything. Uh, I can also say it would be very strong advice to maybe run some mega armor and mega attack if you want, 
but if you're like me, you might not care that much. Because I'm going to show you, even without the best build, this is pretty good. Um, you can run dash juice if you want, other than that, it doesn't really matter that much in my opinion. I should at least show also, for food, I do have Polisher, Black Belt, and Wet Cat. So, um, Polisher, in case I need to... It really doesn't matter that much, it's just not really what I have with my food skill. Black Belt, because... Black Bell is good for dual blades, and Weather Cat is pretty much just to get Elder Dragons more often. So, it's pretty upfront build. Not that, like, super tech heavy. You could change out to what you want for your class more alternately with, like, a Zora build, maybe with a Safi weapon, or, you know, flip the builds around to how you, it suits you most. If you want more defense, go Gold Lunastra, like I showed. You get your 3 Divine, then you have the 2 slots, and you can get 2 extra Divine Blessings. It's really up to you on how you want to use this build, but let's go ahead and jump in. And no, I am not editing this video because I'm too lazy. Other than that, the fight's going to be pretty straightforward quiet, because I don't need a pinpoint everything I do in it. Because if you're running this at MR100, you should already have your own thing. I'm not going baby you or anything like that. Uh, you can come up here and not aggro Kushalo right away. Just crouch down. And once you do, you can run over here to the cells and just at least get the dragon stake in. It's going to be your most damage if you're solo, even if you're multiplayer. You can, I think it goes up to 10k when it goes multiplayer. Other than that, the fight's pretty straightforward. Come on, Kishala, you want to go there? Uh, I would say in this stage, if you're not on your weapon type, you could go for the tail, uh, soften up the wings, so then you don't have to worry about too much of the... Wings being a problem if you knock them down. So this is where you come in with the flash pods. Because while you can't even knock down Kishala, you can still uh, annoy Kishala and make most of the attacks useless. You can go here, I would say go for the chest or the tail as those are the ideal spots to attack Kishala normally. You can also go on here if you want. Uh, don't be too scared of... Go ahead and... Uh, doing turn while shooting because as you saw it keeps up even, with, even though you turn Although you might not want to fight on top of here like I do Now the reason I go for the tail is because I like the tail drops firstly more loot. But well, that's just because that's the type of hunter I am. It's not a hunt if you're not breaking the monster apart. 
There is uh, rocks around here, so don't be afraid to grab them. Hit the face always once before you sling, so you show dominance. It gets mad up there, it gets mad up there. As you can see, it doesn't affect us. Other than that, the wind pressure is nullified, so you don't have to worry about it. Even if you get trapped in the wind, you can get out, as you can see. Only just watch out for the center of the wind, as that's the only um, thing that would damage you from the winds. Don't be scared just to walk away, as you can see. Don't be stupid like me. Always wait till after attack so then you can dodge. Because Kishala still hurts, but not it's not the worst fight. Like I said, you can really change the build to how you want if you want more defense and damage. It's really up to you. Only reason I run it is because it gives me at least security a strong amount of crit. There's better ways you can set it, but... Or... Don't be stupid like me. I'm not being sloppy. Go ahead and take the time since Kishala's days to sharpen your weapon. Oh yeah, just so you can see, I have 75 uh, crit in this plus tenderizer that gives me roughly 80 to 80, 85. Or I'm gonna just mess up my things. Kishal is just gonna dash around. Let's go ahead and just get on the thing here. Put that there on the side. I do have things set here, but I've been busy work on achievements and stuff, so I can get really fix that. Other than that, as you can see, the fight's pretty straightforward once you remove the win. Uh, grab the tail, I would say, if you want somewhere safe to grab. Shell is annoyed slash weak.
The reason we don't uh, go ahead and hit Kishala's face always is when we can get two wall banks like that. Keep the wings soft so you don't bounce off that is another useful thing to do, like I said earlier. Rocksteady should be coming back soon. When you have Rocksteady, you be a little bit more aggressive with uh, wins. But never be too scared to fight Kushala, even like near the winds, my opinion. Only hate when Kushala is um, inside of it. Should uh, be getting less mad soon. Yes, I know I could just done two there, pulling them in the wall and I'll add another one, but my rock steady don't go soon, so I'd rather get the war while I have rock steady. Fight is almost over. Now you might be asking, how do I know that? Run Kushala enough, know your weapon's durability, amount. Fights like this have a pretty straightforward amount. The phase is broken, so that tells me Kishala is near the end. As you can see, the fight's been pretty straightforward. So, bad time to be stunned, and the cat doesn't help. Thank you. 
not my greatest run, but not every run can go as planned when you're not try hard in with 100% speed run accuracy. Pretty straightforward fight. Decent time. Of course, I could have did things to improve. Also, been less reckless, not just stand around and stuff like that. But yeah, the Kashala fight's pretty simple. Don't think you need to follow like the best build in the world. This proves you can be somewhat lazy in your build and still do well. Because I technically did not really use much of my own resources. I use it the four free uh, potions. I didn't use my farcaster. I didn't. I was lucky to not use my wheat finch twice. And yeah. And like I said, you can always use the dragon razor at least once and start the fight, as that's like three three k damage at least. If you're artillery, I think that goes up to four k. And then get your sweet gems. Every artillery, there you go for you are artillery people on that. Uh, the fight's pretty straightforward. So, there you go. I proved that you really don't need the best builds. Even if you're running like a full artillery build to use all the artillery stuff only fights. You really don't need much. So, yeah. Go ahead and have fun with this build. Uh, like I said, if you want to change out some equipment, change out the bracket DS to either um, Escon, which is like uh, easy dragon resistance, which does not really help that much, but it's free element damage for your weapon. Uh, I would say don't worry about the Lunastra. Uh, Gold Lunatra, unless you really need defense. Uh, you can also go uh, Tentacle B, which is good deco slot slash what you get for stamina management on that. Uh, Brachius, same thing. You could go to Peace uh, Cool Up Tove if you really want like very good deco slots, but and the free meal, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, I would go for the Tentacle. Just because the same as search is so much better, which is why we don't run the hot. I, I don't really care that much about the extra like one same as search you get from this in schools, but yeah. If you ran uh, the belt, you would get three evade window, which would be pointless since you already have technically somewhat of an evade window on your uh, stuff. Um, other than that, Club Tove, Namiel, Gold, uh, Rathian, or Alatreon Armor, I would recommend, besides Brachidius. Other than that, um, yeah, it's whatever you want. You can do this with uh, Thunder, Element, Blast, or, you know, whatever. I've done a lot of weird builds, so don't feel like I'm, like... Just try and like be like, oh look, I've made weapons that are not meant to go, go. I have this fully upgraded, augmented. Uh, I made uh, Taroth Poison for a raw dual blade build. Paralyze, uh, I have other builds that are weird, so it's not like I'm really that much of a stranger. Like, I have a Master Ale build, just so I can help people in low and high rank. This does work in high rank, but yeah. So go ahead, have fun with this build. Uh, hunt, uh, temper, if you want. Um, like I said, just run at least a few. The material for crop oi, is, oi. is not the worst. If we ever get uh, Arch Temper, uh, Theo, you might want to get those because it's only probably better. Only rare things to 
make is a large elder dragon gym and uh Naruto and Mantle, but those are pretty easy to get if you have celestial and um just get them naturally from farming monsters, so yeah. Enjoy the build, uh tell me if this helps you and uh have a chill time. You don't need the best gear or even like the best setup to farm I keep repeating myself. You don't need the best to be the best. You can be completely using a uh, weapon that's not really that good. Dual blades is probably not the best weapons to use against Kushala, but I personally don't care. I prefer my dual blades. But yeah, have fun, stay chill, and uh. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat some uh, Coachella tail now.